Hi YouTube, it's me Ryan Holly once again and welcome to my channel PB70CDOEM What we are going to be doing today is running the IBM Aptiva recovery program for the PC-DOS 7.0, Windows 3.1 and OS2 Warp 3.0 software series for the very early M series of Aptiva models and then we're gonna do a um, service CD run through show how that works so I'm just starting up the machine now put the multimedia master CD in the drive we're using multimedia master CD 41H 7864 we're going to put this in the CD-ROM drive Probably should have bypassed the memory test, but it's fine. Okay. It, I was gonna say it should be say in starting PC DOS, but these are um, OS2 based boot floppies, which is why there's three of them instead of just the one. I don't know if they ever had an official IBM label like disk 1, disk 2, disk 3 because I'm in the first steps you needed three disks so I just wrote them down like this and I am going to be putting this particular diskette in right now after the recovery program is done there may be a slight issue with the um DOS boot files after the recovery program is done which I'm not going to show the whole thing up because otherwise we'd be here for an hour I'm going to show how to fix that issue if it even comes up it might not but some users might have this issue and I actually know how to fix it Okay. It takes a little while, but as soon as we're done, we'll come on. There we go. We want to select number one, recover. Now, the hard drive I have in my system temporarily is it's wiped, it's blank, but it has a partition. It's a one gig drive, which should be enough for this. We're going to select number one, recover Aptiva OS2 warp image. And the CD's in the drive, so we're going to go with drive letter D. We're going to select yes. And this may take up to an hour, maybe 45 minutes, depending on the setup. But without further ado, we will be back after the recovery and restore program is finished but don't go away because we're going to be doing this through the same video so with the magic of um video editing through movie maker we will be back in the second clip okay we're back the file restore and recovery process is completed the system is about to reboot to the recovered image please remove disk app from drive a it says press any key when ready. Also forgot to mention in my last video clip that the um, system might boot into OS2 Warp first rather than Microsoft Windows first. And it'll do that. Which means that there might not be DOS bootable files in place. I don't know why it's like that.
Okay. That's just my light doing. There we go. Nope, it still started into IBM PC DOS, no problem. The Aptiva first boot program is configuring your system. Please do not power off your system. This just takes a few seconds, so. <clears throat> Excuse me. Initial setup, if that's what you want to call it, but, um. What I personally refer to as initial setup would be you know, Windows 95, where you put in, like, your, um. Certificate of Authenticity key code and the username info registering your copy of Windows 95 name company and then products key code should boot into Windows momentarily There's the Windows 3.1 splash screen. Okay. Come on now. I don't know why it's got to take so long. I'm using a 200 megahertz with MMX Welcome processor. Welcome to Ativa. Thank you. Now this right here, store, this is the in-store demo program, but we're not going to be installing that, so we will select Home. Now Home, Office, and School, you could select those three. It'll just be the same thing. The only one that's different is Store, because it's in-store program that was used by retailers and computer stores that sold IBM Aptivas. But since that's what, not what we're working with, we're going to go ahead and just select number one, which is Home. And then, the Aptiva guide will come up. Let's go ahead and skip through it. Aptiva gives you more flexibility than any other PC. Two operating systems to control your computer, mm -hmm. and you get to choose. And there's something else, something special, a friendly guide to your new Aptiva. The voice of that lady, I always wondered if there was any pictures or video footage of her within the in-store demo. If um, YouTube user Simon Burke could provide an answer, that would be great. The reason for that is because um, Packard Bell's Navigator program had some video footage of the guy that said welcome from Packard Bell. The Navigator was made by a company called like Arc Interface, while the IBM and in-store demo program and the guide were made by Micro Interactive. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Hmm. I'm not going to go through all of this. The Windows lessons teach you basic things like using a mouse. Mm hmm. A it's time game. for a little fun. <laughs> well, I could go through everything, but I don't think any YouTube viewers want to sit there all day. There are some slight differences in the Windows 95 and 3.1 versions of this program. Aptiva is your on ramp to the information superhighway.
such as Wall Street money being moved to the information superhighway section. <clears throat> Aptivaware programs are tools to help you get the most out of your computer. From here, you Few control Aptiva's amazing. Anyways, what we are going to be doing now is running the Aptiva update CD, or service CD, which is part number. Focus camera, please. Okay, hold on. There we go. 75H9301. And a CD insert, but that's for the Windows 95 autoplay feature, and clearly this is 3.1. Pull the master CD out, it's still in the drive. Hmm, now I just took it back out. Now for this, we are going to need a blank floppy disk. Okay. It says if you are using OS2 Warp, double click on the reboot to DOS Windows. Well, we're already there. Create a bootable disk. From Windows Program Manager, type in file, then run. Okay. I'm just following along to this little guide right here. Type in D warp me. Could type it in, but I'm gonna do it this way instead. Make disk dot bat. Format the disk and make it bootable. I just grabbed a blank disk out of this box of diskettes right here. <clears throat> Sorry that some of this has taken a while, but I'm glad I can go for more than 15 minutes on my channel. So I'm not going to worry about, um, I think someone at one time commented try to sacrifice as much, um, unneeded video footage as possible. I would, but I really don't have the skill on doing so. I don't know the right software, I don't have the right software for it, so guys just please bear with me on this. course anyone can skip ahead on format another no yeah it says in the instructions do not remove the diskette or CD from their drives Okay, now it says to exit Windows, and we'll click OK afterwards. And now it says to uh, Control-Alt-Delete, which is a system reboot. Okay. And then it'll say, come up with a message, do you want, well, it's going to load the drivers and such first. Once it does, it will ask, do you want to, so we'll hit yes. This will take a while too, so after it is done, we will be right back. <clears throat> 